Hey everyone, we're back with some more live video game hunting. I spent the last few weeks going to an absolute rake of charity shops, so we've got a nice little pile down here to show you. Uh, so let's get straight into the footage and we'll talk about what we picked up and what's behind me when we get back.
Right, so we've plenty to go through from that. I think I picked up about 20 titles all in all. First stop, we picked up three Xbox 360 games. These were a euro each. So we got Battlefield, Bad Company, Wolfenstein 2009, and Ruse. Only problem with these three, when I got back and had a look at them, I realized that they were all French. So I'm not sure whether there's an option to change the language on an Xbox 360. I'm actively looking for one, so we'll find out one way or the other. Uh, but if not, we'll keep them until we can maybe get the English versions of them and then we can do it on eBay.fr because I don't think we'll be able to trade these into CEX. Uh, our next stop was probably our biggest stop of the week. Um, went to a place that's been pretty good to me in the past and picked up 10 games and they were all only a euro each. The last few times I went in there, they were charging two, so hopefully that's the price they're going to be going forward. But just started off with two PS3 commons, a copy of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty Ghosts. Uh, the other eight games were all Xbox 360 ones. Uh, Devil May Cry 4. These are actually all complete with manuals as well. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, Dead Space. Don't think I've actually played Dead Space. It looks like my sort of thing. It's kind of a good sort of sci-fi horror type thing. So hopefully we can get home for 360 and give that a go. Uh, Battle Fantasia, one I've never heard of before, but looking the two of these up, they're actually not really worth much on 360, but if you see them for PS3, definitely pick them up uh, because they're worth a lot more on PS3. Uh, next, we got good old Gears of War. I played this to death back in the day when I had the 360, so uh, really nice to have that back in the collection. I'm looking forward to hopefully having a game of it. Picked up a copy of Rage on the Xbox 360. Uh, this turned up in the last video on PS3. Uh, it's a three disc version on the 360 and all three were in there. Uh, Dark Sector, again, not one I know an awful lot about. Looks like a good sort of sci-fi horror thing, so hopefully get to play that. Uh, Lost Planet, just a common title, and then the best of the bunch. Uh, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe, this goes for like 25 euro, I think. Um, Again, fully complete, so that was a great little pick up, so delighted to get that. So, the next few bits I got uh, were freebies, which are always good. Uh, again, this is a shout out to the sister in law, Karina. She was trading a few bits in, and uh, so basically anything that she couldn't trade in, I took off her. And she knows I like to collect Wii games, so I have a nice little Wii game here as well. And um, we'll copy of Virtua Fighter 5 for the PS3. Uh, again, not a super amazing title, uh, but CX wouldn't take it because it's NTSC, but that doesn't matter with PS3, so uh, we'll add that to the collection, hopefully, get a play of it. Uh, a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare Xbox One case only, but it actually has a Black Ops disc in it. So, just throw them around. Uh, Black Ops, I think I traded in the last video, I think I got about 8 for it. So we might complete that one day, we'll add it to the little jumble pile that we have, and hopefully get a matching case for it at some stage. And then um, the Wii game that she gave me was Wario Land. Uh, I do like a Wii game, I like a Rocket Wii game like this, so looking forward to having a play of it. But a little bonus disc that she found, uh, Zelda Skyward Sword, which I already have twice, I think. Uh, so again, we'll hold on to it. If we can get a case for that, that would be deadly because that's a good trader. Uh, if not, we might find someone that's interested in just this, we might can see. Uh, then I went charity shop hunting in Drogheda. I think we hit about five places, struck out in two or three, but we got a few bits in the other ones. And great thing with charity shops in Drogheda if you're ever out there. Most of them charge 50 cent for games, or you can even bundle them, I think, and get four for euro in some places. Uh, but nothing special in the first one. We got a copy of World Rally Championship Platinum on the PS2, but this one came with a bonus disc, so it's got World Rally Championship 4 as well. Uh, no manual for that, but for 50 cent, you can take that for two games. And then two Disney ones, actually, a copy of Disney Treasure Planet. Uh, again, no manual, disc only and a copy of Disney Golf. Uh, this one came in a manual, so that looks like it's actually a bit of track, so we're gonna play on that some stage. And uh, then next shop that we got something in, got a copy of, well, what I thought was a copy of Sims 2 Pets on the DS, which is actually not too bad a trader. Uh, but when I opened it, it had Sims 3 card in it, so again, mishmash point, definitely try and complete it. Um, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Another reason I don't have that we get play out of. No manual, but again, 50 cents, can't go wrong. And then in the very last stop, we picked up a copy of Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. It felt a bit light, there was no manual in it, 
disc was there, but there was also a bonus disc with WWE 12. So again, you can't go wrong. That's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight games at 50 cent each, like four euro all in. Nothing wrong with that at all. Yeah, so that's it for the pickups. Uh, as you can see, we're coming along with the game room behind me here. Uh, we still have a bit of work to do. At the moment, I'm just sort of laying things out roughly how I might like to display items. Uh, trying out a bit with lighting as well. As you can see, obviously, we've got dark spots around the place that will be sorted out. So we have a few more holes to drill, a few more shelves to try and get up. Uh, hopefully, we're not too far away. I don't think the next video will be in here, but we should be for the one after. But for now, I just thought it'd be a bit of fun to film in here just to, you know, Maybe people might give me ideas, maybe watching it back I might get a few more ideas myself. Yeah, so hopefully not long to wait now. Uh, we'll have somewhere to record permanently rather than moving around every room of the house and I just can't wait to get back to playing the games. Yeah, so next video will probably be another game hunting video and then hopefully uh, next video after that we'll be in here permanently. We'll be able to do a little tour, uh, show you what I did with the place and talk about what I want to do with the game room going forward. So thanks a million for watching. Thanks to everyone that's come along and subscribed. Really, really appreciate it. And hopefully we'll see you again in a few weeks with the next one. Cheers.